Hey, welcome everybody. Today's video is all about koozies and 3D printed koozies on the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. Stay tuned right after this. Hey, welcome back everybody. I've been really busy with my new Bamboo Labs for about the last three weeks that I've had it, and I've been printing lots of koozies. Stephen the Lightspeed, as a lot of you might know over on the socials, has a Patreon. He's been print, he's been designing some really cool koozies, and I have one here from Nico I'm going to show you also. I already did a video on, but, and I went to my local bar, because I don't drink that much, and I need a bunch of empty bottles, and they were nice enough to give me a bunch that they found that were used, and I rinsed them out, and then I went to the store and bought a couple 12-packs, since they're out of six-packs, to add bottles just for this video and for this test. But what I wanted to talk about first was the first one that I got from Steven, and I printed it out, and I think my layers on it were six top, four bottom, four perimeter, for like 15% infill. This thing is extremely heavy, and at the end of this video, I'll show you all the weights on a scale what these weigh. But basically what you do is you unscrew the plug in the bottom, take your favorite beverage, put it inside, put the bottom on, and then if you're at a party, hanging out at home, whatever you want, a kind of a pirate theme, you can sit there and take a swig and drink out of your fav favorite frosty beverage. Now, I printed this out at 100% scale as it was sent to me, and uh, it wouldn't fit in my bottles. My bottles were too tight. So I got a hold of Steven, and he said that he drinks Coors Light, and he made it real tight for a Coors bottle. And I guess if you really cram it in there tight, that bottle would go in all the way, but it'd be hard to pull out. So I sized the second two that I printed at 103%. Because this at 100% is just a little bit too tight. And then also inside all the plugs on the bottom, he has an internal ring that you can take a quarter, a coin that you might have in your pocket, and you can screw it down basically to fine tune the bottle to lift it up a little bit higher. And on some of these bottles, you may have to have a little spacer or something to put in there to maybe raise it an inch. And then you can fine tune it with that center plug if you need to. But let me move on to another one here and I'll show you an example. Then I have this one here that's done in red. All the letters were done in black, and then I printed the cap separately. You've seen the, I'll show you the time lapses here real quick of all these printing. But I believe when I printed this one, I had the cap and the plug and everything on the bed at once. And then, of course, it has to do a color change every layer to change from black to orange, and it's got a purge filament, which a lot of people call poop. And yes, it does have a lot of waste, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But the quality is amazing. It's really, really beautiful. But let's take this Coors bottle, for instance. But I printed this at 103%, scaled the model up. See that? Bottle goes right in. You screw your plug in. And if you need a little bit of a spacer, you can always add one to it. And then when you have it on, you can simply drink and you can screw the cap back on while it's there if you'd like. And that will fit on all of these bottles. And here we have a Corona. Now a Corona's got a big fat neck on it. And this bottle fits in it perfectly fine. You can screw your cap on. That way you can drink out of it. And I've got an MGD. Goes right in. Of course, it has to be lifted up a little bit. I've got a Bud Light. And that needs to go up quite a bit. So you probably have to put a spacer in there. And then you put the plug on the bottom. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey, right? Okay, that one works fine just like that. And then you can put the little cap back on and go, hey, look what I got. I got some ale, mate. You know, and drink away. So that's pretty cool. And then my wife likes to drink wine coolers. So we have a Seagram's here. Seagram's in. It's perfectly fine. Like I say, these had a hundred, or had a scaled up to 103%. Now, I'm not sure if Steven is going to change any of his files. He'll probably leave them as you are, and then it'll be up to you to scale it. But over on his Patreon, he's been designing like mad. He has all kinds of other types of files and different things he's working on. And he did send me a fourth file where in the top here, I'll show you close-up pictures at the end where he put my logo right in here, in this little area on each side. And I tried to color that in in bamboo, but it was really fine detail, and I couldn't get it to color in right, so I skipped it. And then I was going to print it, and I accidentally loaded the wrong one. So this one has a different symbol on it. I, I recognize that symbol, but I can't think of what that is. But I do recognize that from somewhere. I just can't remember where that's from. And it has the same type of plug here where it's got the uh, quarter insert in the center where you can fine tune the height if you put a spacer in there. So that's really cool. 
And on this last one here that I did, it took like, I don't know, two and a half days. I got some video footage where I can show you when I pulled them off the plate. But it took like two and a half days. Here it says potion number eight. Um, that's in black. All these little like stitchings here as if this was like a leather sock or something over the bottle. Those are all done in brown filament. And then I've got the two uh, skull and crossbones done in black with a black cap. Now, when you see the video on this, you're going to see my purge tower, which is very tall and big. And I know I can refine this, guys, and change it. I haven't figured out what I have to do. But, yeah, this is a ton of filament right here on top of all the poop that came out the back of the machine. But the purge tower fell over. I ran to the store, and this thing was almost done. It had, like, ten minutes left. The purge tower fell over. So I got home and was like, oh no, I'm freaking out. And there's like screening on the model, which you'll see in the time lapse. I went ahead and uh, got some duct tape. And I duct taped it down real quick. And even though the head was too high for this, it was probably a quarter of an inch higher. I was, it was able to grab most of the purge and stuck to it so it wouldn't drag it all over the model. So when I cleaned this up, there's a little bit of damage right here. I took my fingernail and kind of scratched it off. And that's a shame that happened after printing for so long the purge tire fell over. But it's a cool model. And once again, it kind of looks like a genie's bottle, the way it's shaped. Just unscrew the cork out of the bottom, the plug. And take, let's say the Corona here, for instance, which is the tallest bottle, the biggest neck. Fits right in at 103%. Put your plug in the bottom, drink your frosty beverage, and you're off to the races. So it's pretty cool. So I really appreciate him giving these files to print. I told him I'd do a video on it, which here comes the video. But if you'd like to join uh, his Patreon, there'll be a link in the description below, and I'll show it here on the screen. But yeah, these are really cool bottles. And I'm glad he designed them. Um, I've been retired for a long time, and yeah, I've had plenty of time to learn how to design. I, I never have taken the time. I have a small, I think it's called a Wacom tablet that I bought. It's like 13 inch, and I uh, never, never have learned. And this little cork here is brown. And of course, on the AMS and the Bamboo Labs, you can print anything in any color if you have an AMS. I can only do four colors. <laughs> and about a week ago in slot run, I was having theater problems or where it wouldn't retract far enough and it wouldn't grab the film. But sometimes it worked, most of the time it didn't. I contacted Bamboo Labs. They had me send them a video and some pictures. I explained it to them, and they gave me credit to order new feeder. So now that's in the mail, and it should be here in a few days. So I'm not using slot run until the new feeder mechanism comes <clears throat> because of that issue. But other than that, the thing has been working rock solid. I love it. It's great. At some point, of course, there are going to be things to replace on it, and, uh, you know, I'll deal with them as the time comes. But slots 2, 3, and 4 work perfectly fine. And then I have this original... Um, jug here that I've done from Nico. I bought this from Nico Industries. The file cost, I think it was $8. And it isn't righty tidy lefty loosey. It's opposite. Why he has the threads backwards, I'm not sure. I guess he made a boo-boo. But on this one, you would put a bottle in the same way and screw the bottom on. But I should have increased the size because it's too tight on the neck on this bottle. And then this bottle here is too tall. Let's take... This is called uh, Reed's Craft Ginger Beer. See, that one will kind of go in there. It barely sticks up out the neck. Let's see if the bottom will screw on. Yeah, the bottom won't even start. Well, there it goes. It starts a little bit. It goes about that far. So it definitely needs to be scaled up X, Y, and Z to make it a little bit bigger and taller for the Z. So that's definitely uh, sucks. And I wish you would have put the plug in the bottom. That way you wouldn't have to screw it together like that. But it's a cool design. That's where I got my original idea about wanting to print these. But this one's lefty tidy, so we go lefty on it. And then when you screw it all the way up tight, it's a little bit off center. It go, it, I don't know why it's like that, but you have to back it off of here, which leaves the bottom slightly loose. And it lines up, and then you can drink out of that the same way. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, that was cool. Nico done that. And the reason it's two colors, I ran out of filament. I was doing, I had some filament from TH3D I was using, uh, I forget the name of it, it's a spaghetti filament, I forget the type, the color, but it's like a reddish purplish green, that came out cool and then I went over with some tan on the top of from TH3D, and all these other ones were done in Ziltec filament, and uh, they come out amazing well, it's all PLA from Ziltec, uh, Ziltec.com, and yeah, and as far as for the poop, well, okay, for the red and black one, we have the purge tower, a lot of filament. It's not solid, but it's pretty heavy duty. And here's a box of poop. 
That is completely full of red and black. That is a lot. You can see how full it is. And then over here in this one, there's some more red where this box is getting kind of full. Then I switched to that box. That is a hell of a lot of purge. And then let's see the orange and the black is what is remaining in this box. And like I say, that's got a little bit of weight to it. I mean, I love the, I love the machine. I love the quality. I love the multicolored prints. You don't have to paint them. The quality is it's, it's showroom quality. I mean, it's you can sell these. Um, oh, and if you join this Patreon, I think you are allowed to sell them then if you wanted to print these and sell them. But uh, yeah, it's very cool. So thank you, Stephen. I love these. Great work. Uh, this one, like I said, I bought from Nico. These were given to me by Lightspeed to print to do for my video. And if you size them up to 103%, no problem. It should fit all your bottles. That's why I have all these bottles here. I got a Coors Light, an MGD, a Corona, a Bud Light, a Seagram's, and this is a ginger beer, which I didn't drink that. That came from the bar and empty from the bar, but it, a ginger beer. But yeah, it seems like it works perfectly fine at 103%. So. Join us Patreon, print them out, scale them up just a tad, um, and then you're good to go. Collar them in, really cool. So I don't know what else to say, but let me show you the time lapses of these really quick, and then I'll show you uh, some pictures, some close ups. Oh, and if I put them on the, oh yeah, here, let me put them on the scale for you. Got a scale here. Okay, this red one is coming in at 417 grams. And like I said, that was my layers were six top, four bottom, four perimeter, like 5% infill. This was the same. That weighs 446 grams. Now this jug was done with 15% infill. And uh, my layers were, I think, 644. That comes in at 942 grams. So this beast here is quite heavy. And this separate ring, this prints separately. You screw this piece off. like that. So then I printed the jug by itself, but then the cork was printed separately, the plug was separately, this ring was separately. So yeah, really cool. You need to spin that up all the way on, it stops when it gets to the bottom, and all right, you made these. Really cool stuff. So, hey, uh, please like, subscribe, and share this video, and uh, check out these cool pictures, and you guys have an awesome day, and happy printing. Later.